Now, what happens if I would like to have instead, I'd like to have a compilated set of results, maybe in one table of all of my injections. And I want that to be all on one sheet so I can save it to one Excel spreadsheet. Well, that's called a sequence summary report. And we have an example of a sequence summary report as well here in Open Lab CDS. You need to go to where, to the one that's called or begins with the words sequence summary. And in this case, if you go to the sequence summary underscore short underscore letter and double click on that, it will preview the data that we have highlighted in the left hand side in this type of a sequence summary report. Now, the first page of the sequence summary report is essentially a sign off page. So you've got sequence header information, what the acquired date was, acquired by, et cetera. If I go down to the bottom of that page, there is a uh, some sign-offs that are available. Then I go to the next page. This is a list of all of the acquisition methods that were used to acquire the data. Going to the third page, this is a set of all of the processing methods that were used to process the data. Going to the fourth page, it now begins to break out some of the statistics of each one of the named compounds. And you'll notice that each compound has its own table. And in this case, it's also breaking out the standards from the unknown samples. So it's got my RLM test one. That's my first named peak. It, I had three levels of a standard. So it gives me all three of those levels and it has a single concentration or a single injection per level. Then going to the next RLM test two, and again, this is all for calibration standards. Well, what happens if a couple of these, like I've got isocratic sample CS, that's actually a duplicate injection of the same, um, of the same vial or of the same sample, et cetera. What happens, how does the data look in this type of a sequence summary report? Well, if I go to my page that has that, you'll notice that it actually groups those together, like for like. So it now knows that if it's named the same, then it is the same and probably from the same location. It's probably a duplicate injection. So it's going to parse that for us and show me both of those injections, retention time, amount, concentration, and area. It's also going to give me the average and any standard deviation that might appear here as well.